Sound is always of the utmost importance. It doesn't matter if it's going to be in TV watching, movie watching, or especially PC gaming. Never mind working on your computer, just relaxing, listening to music. But when you're playing a PC game, the right sound can really immerse you in the right experience. So let's talk about PC sound using one of my favorite tools that I found recently, and that's going to be the EVGA new, that is NU, sound card. So let's get started. Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Subscribe if you like my content, smash that like button, leave a comment below. I want to know what type of sound solution you're using on your PC. After your GPU and graphics, it's no doubt that sound is going to be of the utmost importance. Especially nowadays, so many games are supporting surround sound and different algorithms like that. Um, even without surround sound speakers, you can have really awesome virtualization and really crisp, nice sound effects. Now, I've been on the lookout for really, really great PC audio ever since I started years and years ago. I remember trying different headphones, different even like 5.1 surround sound speakers, even specialty sound cards back in the day. Uh, and it was always a little bit of a struggle trying to find the right balance between price and what was going to give you the best possible sound performance. And even when you found the best, most expensive thing, often it wasn't really the greatest. EVGA a while back came out with this sound card, which is a little bit unusual for them because they're known more for their graphics cards and power supplies. Generally, Creative is the company that's going to have more of the sound cards that we know, like the AE5 and even some of their newer iterations. Sound cards have really been out of the market lately. They used to be extremely popular years ago, but in recent times, really not too many people have bought them because motherboard audio has gotten so good and a lot of gaming headsets have their own DAC already, like a USB DAC or something like that. For example, the Logitech Pro X, which is one of my favorite headsets, comes with a USB DAC that you basically plug in and it's going to give you really great sound quality without needing a DAC or any other peripheral in between you and your audio. So let's talk about a few reasons why I think this EVGA sound card or even any sound card in general is still going to be great for your system. First, especially this particular EVGA sound card, it sounds absolutely fantastic. I have not heard it sound this good, even from a high-end motherboard. Like I have this installed on the next 570 MSI godlike motherboard, which is literally a $700 motherboard, and you would expect them to have sort of really high bitrate audio, very, very stellar performance, be able to power high amp headphones. And while this motherboard audio definitely does a really awesome job, you can power, you know, really good headphones with it, I still prefer the audio that comes out of the EVGA sound card. Now, this sound card doesn't have as many of the gimmicks that you'd be used to with sort of virtualization and surround sound. They did add that eventually in a couple of firmware updates, but initially this sound card was really focused on clarity of sound. And that's really important because even in 2.0 stereo, let's say you're playing a game like Battlefield 5 or something that's really immersive. If you have really realistic and clear sound, that's going to make a tremendous difference to your gaming performance a lot more than sort of some virtualization is. Now, they did eventually add virtualization, and while it is pretty good, it's definitely not bad at all. Um, they also came out recently with the EVGA, you know, the NU sound card that's like the pro model that's more geared towards sort of, you know, surround sound, because that's definitely something that the market wants. The market really wants sort of a immersive sound experience, and that's definitely what we always try to do with music. 
and games, I feel like you need the immersion as well as the clarity and realism of having that. Anytime you talk to an audiophile that are trying different headphones and different speakers, one of the things they're trying to replicate is a real sound if that music was being played live but in their living room. So if you can get that on a sound card, that's really going to be one of the primary objectives. Another reason why I like these sound cards, and this reason is going to be a little bit silly, but it's definitely true for a lot of people, enthusiasts love tinkering with extra hardware for their computer. They're not going to be content with just having their motherboard and, and that's it. Or else there are going to be people that are going to be content with like onboard graphics. But an enthusiast is going to want to add that really high-end graphics card. He's going to want to see, even if he's going to get only 5% better sound, he's going to want to add that sound card and really hear that difference. Now, not everybody is like this. And I'd recommend you first max your budget out on your GPU and your processor and your RAM. But if all that's taken care of, you have a little room and you want to experience a little bit different sound and just see what's out there, curiosity is always a good thing. And that's one of the hallmarks of having a sound card. It's not necessary with today's motherboards and headsets, but with the right headphone paired to it and the right settings, you can definitely achieve some really realistic high-end audio that you wouldn't think of otherwise. Another reason why I like the sound card is that it fulfills a dual purpose it's awesome when you're playing games. It's going to give you that immersive, realistic feel. But if you want to listen to music, you don't have to switch to something else or deal with sort of lackluster uh, headsets for gaming, which you're not going to have the same response in terms of the frequency and the bass for music. So you can use this for music or for gaming, and it's going to sound awesome in both applications. And I think that's pretty valuable if you're into your sound. Now, a long time ago, they used to say that having a sound card will help take off some of the processing power from your CPU and maybe even help improve your gameplay. While I think that was true way back when, when specs were more limited, today I don't really think it makes that big of a difference and I doubt you would ever see any difference like that. But it is nice to know that there's a separate sound card that's being utilized in your system. Part of that goes to the reason we mentioned before, enthusiasts like maxing out every little detail of your system. View it like somebody who's tuning a car. Even if it's only going to make him go slightly faster or the car look a little bit better, he may want to try it anyway, just because it gives you satisfaction to sort of max out your rig. So I do recommend that if you haven't tried a sound card, you know, maybe get one in the future. Um, a lot of them are reasonably priced. They're not outrageous, like uh, like a really expensive GPU, like six or seven hundred dollars. You can get a pretty decent sound card for like the hundred to two hundred dollar range for like even a nice high end one. You don't have to get the top top. Um, then, I mean, that's the best ways to judge for yourself. Play games as you do now, add a sound card, see if your gaming experience improves. For me, it definitely has with this sound card. I just feel like I'm listening to more of a real sound. Everything is just crisper, more realistic. Um, it's hard to describe sound in words, but that's, that's definitely how I feel about it, even compared to something that has great onboard audio, like an AMD X570 MSI Godlike. So for that reason, if you guys get the chance, Try a sound card. doesn't have to be this one. You can try any of the creative sound cards. Those are fantastic as well. They've had a couple come out recently. Any VGA also has their pro version coming out. Um, and I think these sound cards were received pretty well in terms of their overall performance. And really, at the end of the day, the sound card is just that little bit of shine added to your system to give you a little bit more of an immersive experience when you're playing games. And it's going to pair nicely with whatever GPU you're using um, and your overall system to just give you the best gaming experience possible. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe if you like my content. Smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.